Hey guys, it is Thursday, July 6th. The time is 19.30 New York local time. And in this video, um, I'm gonna get started on my live execution recording in a moment, but before I do that, I wanted to make a video on what I would call reworking your mind for ICT. So I think that what, again, if you just get into ICT, if you've just started, you haven't really put any work into it, um, but it's totally fine. Uh, a lot of people that you listen to on Discord, a lot of haters, so to speak, to put it crudely, um, but people who disparage ICT because uh, they never really put any real effort into it, um, they'll tell you that it's supply and demand or that it's Wyckoff or that it's um, GAN or whatever. You know, Trader Sumo, Dope Trades, thinks that it's Wyckoff. It's not. Um, guys, what it is, if you really want a proper framework for what ICT's models are and what the philosophy of thinking is, is it's computer science, okay? It's binary code. It's, um, it's a programming language. You, you must accept the premise in order to fully grasp ICT. Now, you can use some of his models as, as like a chart pattern without really understanding the philosophy, but if you really, you really want to understand it, you must accept that the, that the price is driven by computers, that it's um, not human, it's algorithmic. That is like the premise that you have to accept because that's going to rework the way that you understand how the markets are moving. You're no longer going to think about buyers or sellers or supply and demand. It's not even going to enter your mind. You're going to be thinking about, well, this is what the algorithm, want, where it wants to take us, why it wants to do it, what time of the day it is, right? It's repricing and it's, and it's rebalancing and it's redelivering. Your whole language is going to change. The way in which you describe price over time is going to change. Um, of course, these are all my own opinions, guys. I'm not advising you to buy or sell a security. Quick disclaimer, I'm, I am not a financial advisor, not financial advice. These are all my personal opinions. Um, but I believe that you, in order to understand ICT, in order to, to, to get in his way of thinking, you must accept the premise that these markets are not human, that these markets are driven and controlled by computerized algorithms. And then you'll start to see what it's doing. It's delivering a fair and efficient price. That's what it's doing. It's delivering a fair and efficient price. Um, and that's what price is always trying to do. Premium seeks discount. Discount seeks premium. If it's, in, if it's an inefficiency, it seeks to, to make it efficient, a re-efficiency, okay? It's putting it, things back in balance. Premium, discount, inefficiency, efficiency, right? That's what it's doing. That's what price is trying to do. It's trying to deliver a fair and efficient price. So if you want to know how to think about ICT, think about computer programming. Think about writing code. Think about writing script. And now imagine that a script or an algorithm were applied, or, or multiple algorithms, but just imagine that computer science on a chart, that is what we see. Okay? It's computer science on a chart. So. If you want to get in the right frame of thinking for ICT, number one, you've got, to, you've got to rework your mind. This is not going to work if you still believe that the markets are human. Um, if you think that supply and demand is real, if you think that, that orders matter at all, um, if you think that classic chart patterns are anything like that, if you still are holding on to those concepts, you're going to have a difficult time fully realizing your potential. Okay, to fully realize your potential as an ICT trader, you must accept that the markets are automated. Okay, I'm not saying that that's the only form of trading or whatever, it's the only way to make money. It's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying that to reach your full potential, if you want to trade ICT, you must accept that these markets are automated and that it's computer science on a chart. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's kind of reworking your mind. It's a jealous model, guys. To really reach your potential, all of your other old ideas got to go. They got to go. You know, support, resistance, chart patterns, um, got to go. White coughs got to go. Supply and demand's got to go. It is what it is, guys. They're not compatible. Because um, once you fully accept that these markets are computer science on a chart, that, that they are controlled, there's nothing real about them, uh, you'll, you'll then start to see 
what's going on. It'll it'll over time and work and over time slowly overwork lots and lots of work. You'll see what I'm talking about, okay? And if anyone has been you know really putting in uh, yeoman's yeoman's work, so meaning a lot of work into understanding ICT like I have, you already know what I'm talking about. You already know. You already know. So, anyways, guys, um, that is that. Uh, just quick uh, SEC and CFTC disclaimers. Um, trading involves substantial risk of loss, including more than you initial in, uh, initially invest. Uh, leverage may work for you, but it may also work against you. Um, do not trade with funds that you cannot afford to lose. And that's it, guys. That's um, reworking your mind. ICT is computer science, guys. It's computer science. Okay? Computer science on a chart. That's all it is. Computer science. Bye-bye.